You came to the ancient way of their sanctum. A secret door can be found, following almost powdery rubble, litters the floor of this room. Along the west wall are three separate doors. Based on the contents, it's safe to assume this is a stone room for the inhabitants of the dungeon. This room seems out of place. All other rooms in the stretch of the dungeon are either wide, empty holes, or small, cramped cells. This room is cozy. A large goblin sits placidly on the center of the room, adding to the overall strangeness of the scene. His hair is white, perhaps from age, and his manner is calm and unobtrusive. Oh, this is a bugbear. You sleep the bugbear. I'm gonna say you're at least level 13 now. Congratulations. Crying to a region of rotten meat, this small room is dominated by an aging goblin. Even seated, you can tell he is well over seven feet tall and massive fibrous muscles, waiting to snap, his hair is gray and molten, and deep scars lying at the bugbear's face, chest and hands. Staring at you from his perch, his one good eye searches deeply curious about you. He seems to be having the same trouble reading you as you have reading him. This is Ogden, and he would rather not fight you. But what does that matter to you? You already stand for XP. Slay him. You slay Ogden. Soon he'll be level 14 now, and through badass. Something to be impressed about. Gotcha. Stop. This room is nearly identical to many rooms in the dungeon. The one feature of the scene is, however, is an intricate pattern of tiles on the floor. The tiles are covered in layers of dust, however, and it is difficult to discern anything specific about them. Anyone on the wall can find the sphere. The sphere is a masterwork sphere, has nothing more. It is faced by the troll goblins or traitors entering the room. A long way down. This simple chamber is quite nondescript except for a pair of high quality long spheres abandoned in the center of the room. Two gems on the opposite wall stare back at you like a pair of red eyes. You take the spheres and gems as treasure. Storage. The door to this room is locked. Bugbear hideout. The door to this room is locked. The last line of defense. This room is large and appears empty, but something about it bristles and expensive. There are no signs of goblins occupying this room, so it must still be in the domain of the bugbears. Why they have chosen to leave it empty is a mystery, however. The last line of defense has already been abandoned. Refuge. Line of empty supply racks. This room feels safe and secure. Currently, there is nothing in the room aside from empty shelves. The Holy Goblin Empire. These rooms encompass the life of the Goblin Empire that has recently been forged by their new king, Argus. The Goblin King, and name of their new god. Musty smell and dampness unknown to the rest of the dungeon fill the hair here. The traps laid by the celestials still work, and the goblins learned long ago to avoid the rooms that contain them. From these rooms, the goblins have unleashed a vicious war of conquest, retribution against the bugbears, and rebel goblin faction. Had the hob goblins not accepted the offer to join Argus, no doubt they too would feel the goblins' wrath. The goblins are highly suspicious of newcomers and attack anyone on sight. Bugbears occasionally enter the goblin empire to wreak havoc. It's pretty really difficult to, uh, thanks again, Dynamic Elite, so sort of to read through. It passes time either way, they're trying to get through, uh, writing that's not really that comprehensible or good, and it still provokes some sort of a chemical reaction and injury in the mind, which is weird. The hallways stretch before you. A group of goblins the same guard. They are strangely well organized and well equipped. Each carries a short spear and buckler, method out methodically patrolling the hallway, milling about ten feet in each direction. You come across a goblin patrol. You slay the goblin patrol. Under the guidance of the goblins, the goblin forces loyal to Arglis, the goblin king, are quite formidable. They wield short spears and wooden bucklers, attacking foes in well-coordinated fat balance maneuvers. They, ab they advance on their enemies with the cold precision that has been drilled into them by their hobgoblin taskmasters. The hobgoblins for their part have formed an effective cavalry unit, mental and trained wargs. The hobgoblins dart in and out of their foes, flanking them with rapid attacks. The bugbears and rebel goblins have not had success against the new tactics. The lightning attacks of the hobgoblins, coupled with the relentless attacks of foot soldiers, have proved to be an effective combination.